Peace and blessings, self family. I love you all and hope everyone's having a wonderful day. This is going to be part two of Manipur Chakra. Um, we're going to begin with the Mahanavana Tantra um, translation by author Avalon. Okay. Manipur. Manipura Chakra is the ten petaled golden lotus situated above the la last in the region of the navel. Fire evolved from air. So Agni Tatwa evolved from Vayu Tatwa. The ten petals are of the color of a cloud and on them are the blue varnas. Dang, dang, nang, tang, dang. Dung, tang, nung, pung, pung, and the ten vrittis, vidhe anti, namely, laje, which is shame, sometimes uh, translated shyness, uh, pishunata, which is fickleness, um, which is a um, some say uh, sadistic tendencies. Irsha, which is jealousy or envy. Trishna, which is desire to accumulate, craving, or just desire in general. Chishupti, which is laziness, uh, sleepiness, static energy. Um, Vishada, which is shyness. Um, or um, sadness, depression, uh, feeling melancholy. Kashaya, which is dullness, uh, irritability, peeviness, having like pet peeves and stuff. Um, moha, which is ignorance. Um, or uh, let's see. Here, it, moha is ignorance, which uh, I've heard translated as infatuation or um, attraction. Um, grinha, uh, aversion or disgust, uh, hatred, revulsion. Bhaya, which is fear. And with the pericarp is the vija of fire. Rang, and the triangular figure, mandala of agni. Lord of the fire, to each side of which figure are attached three auspicious signs, or swastika. Agni, red, four-handed, and seated on a ram, is within the figure. In front of him are Rudra and his shakti, Badrakali. Rudra is of the color of vermilion and is old. His body is smeared with ashes, and his three eyes and two hands. With one of these, he makes the sign of which he grants boons and blessings, and with the other one, which he dispels fear. Near him is the four-armed Lakini Shakti, and the color of molten gold, Tapta uh, Kanchana, wearing yellow uh, raiments and ornaments. Her mind is maddened with passion, Mata Mata Chitta. Above the lotus uh, is the abode and region of Surya. The solar region drinks the nectar which drops from the region of the moon. Okay, hold on. This part's going to be coming from the subtle body by Cindy Dale. Manipura, third or solar plexus chakra. The Manipura chakra presents itself as a brilliant, luminescent jewel, uh, elementally associated with fire. It is like a bright sun in the middle of the body. This center, which manages the digestive process and organs, also influences the nervous system and the immune process. Digestion is a reflection of its ability to digest and assimilate everything, including thoughts. Thus, this center determines the health of both the bodies and the mind. This chakra is co-ruled by Rudra and Lakini Shakti. Rudra is the lord of Manipura, an aspect of Shiva. He appears as a chariot rider of the sun whose arrows cause destruction and disease. He demands that we organize our minds and experience, deciding what needs to be burnt away and retained. Lakini Shakti is a benevolent form of the uh, goddess of destruction, Kali. She encourages us to set goals and concentrate on what we need to do and to think to achieve to our aspirations. The third chakra is represented by a downward pointing triangle within a circle. The triangle has eyes or T's that act as a doorway to the swastika shapes that attach 
to the swastika, a Sanskrit symbol for well-being, whether the legs bent clockwise or counterclockwise. In this case, the legs are angled to the left in the symbol of fire, the gross element of this chakra. The ten petals of the lotus are blue, as blue are the center of the hot flame. Therefore, this chakra is both constructive and destructive. The fire element relates to the Hindu theory that digestion is accomplished through heat. Therefore, food is burned to create a vital energy. Within this chakra, we hear the sound Ram, a fitting tone, as the Ram is also the carrier of the sound mantra. Rams provide courage and support for moving in the wild. Psychologically, Manipur is the center of personal power. For some, this translates as a consuming need for information, in others, for authority. Within this chakra are the keys to finding balance and deciding how we are going to achieve our dharma, our life's purpose, rather than just live out our karma or past experiences. And other names is Manipurak and Nabhi. The meanings of the names is the city of gems. Mani means jewel or gem. Pura means dwelling place. And Nabhi means navel. Main aspect, the lustrous gem. The location between the navel and the base of the sternum. Related organs, central or so solar plexus, base nerve plexus. Digestive organs and systems. Some authorities say muscles and immune and nervous systems. Symbol. The ten petal lotus within is a downward pointing triangle surrounded by three T shaped swastikas. Uh, the color of the chakra, yellow. The components, gross elements, fire, so Agni Tatwa. The subtle element is form or sight. The color of the element is fire red. The sound of the element is Ram. The carry of the seed sound, the Ram. Promoting spiritual warriorism, strength, wisdom, and bravery. Petals of the lotus are ten blue petals. Predominant sense is sight and vision. The sense organ is the eyes, so the gyanandriyas. The action organ, the karmandriyas, is the anus. The vital breath, the pranavayu, is samana, which is helpful in digestion. The cosmic realm or plane is the celestial plane or heaven, Swarloka. The ruling goddess is the Kini Shakti, who provides inspiration and concentration with compassion. The ruling god, Rudra, uh, an elder destructive force. And the ruling plant is the sun, so Sorya, Dave. Let's see, was there, I feel like there was somewhere else. I think that's the last part. But that is Manipura Chakra. I love you guys. I hope everyone has a blissful today, day today. I'll probably come back and uh, record Anahata in just a little bit. But I love you guys. Peace and blessings.